Hello! We're going to be installing other single player maps for Daisy today. I'm going to be using Taviana as an example. All maps are installed in basically the same way. You create a folder in your Operation Arrowhead program folder called App, whatever you call it, and you add a bit to your game shortcut, loading minus mod equals at whatever you called it. Okay? Now, uh, yes, my version of Windows looks a little different to yours. This is a temp folder on the desktop. I'm just going to put the file I download in here. Uh, there's no other purpose for that. Okay, having a look in our Operation Arrowhead program folder, you'll see we have several folders uh, beginning with the at symbol. These are all mods or add-ons. Uh, they all get loaded in the shortcut just the way that I showed you. Uh, here's the at daisy folder, which is the main uh, daisy folder which you should already have. Now, uh, just minimize that. And uh, it's time to look at the forum. Uh, there will be a link on the screen. Go into daisy releases. I'm going to install Taviana. There are lots of different ones here. So click on Taviana. Uh, it's a whole bunch of information. Uh, it does tell you how to install it, uh, although these instructions won't be as detailed. And the main thing here is it says Taviana EU, because unlike other mods, there are two versions of Taviana, which is slightly annoying and confusing. But we're going to be using the EU one. Now, in the meantime, we'll nip over to Daisy Commander and we're downloading Taviana right now. If you don't have it installed, just click install. It's the same for any other map, uh, Panthera, Namalsk, just click install, yeah, Lingor, etc. Now we'll leave that downloading and we'll download the actual file. Go. There's a link to Mediafire. Open that in the new tab. It's not a big file. Download. Save. And I'll put it in that temp folder on the desktop that I created. Save it there. Down it comes. Close that tab. Don't need it anymore. Don't need this one anymore. But I'll just leave it open. Now, let's see. Has Daisy Commander finished? has. Let's go and have a look in the Arrowhead folder. Right, it's created an at Daisy Taviana folder. Now we're going to make our own folder to uh, put the uh, single player version in. So new folder, at Taviana SP. You can call it whatever you like, just as long as you use the same name in the uh, shortcut. Now I'm going to go into the DayZ folder, it's an entirely optional step. Copied the add-ons folder from in there. I'm going to paste it into the Taviana SP folder that I've just created. This shouldn't be necessary, but I do it just for safety's sake in case um, the uh, new map files are slightly weird. Go into Taviana, the one that DayZ Commander has just downloaded, and I'm going to paste that into the D Taviana SP folder as well. Do I want to merge the folder? Yes, I do. Copy, copy, copy. I'm expecting it to say that it's going to want to overwrite some files, only six or seven of them. So just hold on for a second. Nice fast hard disk, this. Yes, copy and replace. Done. So we've got the Daisy files in there and we've overwritten them with the Taviana files we downloaded from Daisy Commander. Into the temp folder, open the file we downloaded. There's four files inside it. Just extract them out. Okay, there's two files that are obviously DayZ files. We're going to copy those. Those are necessary to overwrite certain aspects. So back to the Taviana SP folder, we into the add ons and paste them there. Copy and replace. Yes. There we go, that's it, it's pretty much done. Uh, the last thing is to choose the mission file. Now there's two here in this case, one with AI and one without. I'm going to go with the one with AI. They won't always have a choice, but um, they usually will. Go into the 
Operation Arrowhead folder, there's a missions folder, not MP missions, missions, paste it there. That's it, that's the file the game actually loads. It gets everything else from that. Now I'm going to create a shortcut, so I go to the Launch Armor 208 beta patch, and I'm going to copy and paste that to the desktop. Now I'll rename it, you can call it wherever you like, Daisy Taviana. Oh, properties. Now um, we're just going to use it as it stands. I'm going to add minus skip intro. That just speeds up loading slightly. And minus oops minus mod equals at Taviana SP. Whatever we add there should be the same as the name of the folder we've created. Okay, so they match. It will load the right thing. Uh, I like to change the icon just so I can easily distinguish it between single player and multiplayer. And I'll just rename the comment even though it's pointless. And that's us done. It is exactly the same procedure for installing any other single player mod.